Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I will be explaining the powers and abilities of Cyclops. Scott Summers, founding member of the X-Men and their greatest all-time leader. Cyclops is a mutant, so he was born with his abilities. Scott's body absorbs solar energy and ambient cosmic energy, which he can then shoot out through his eyes in the form of optic force blasts. So that's something I'd like to clear up right here, is that some people mistake Cyclops' powers for him shooting laser beams or heat beams, but he doesn't shoot either of those. He only shoots force blasts. Even in the X-Men movies, they got this wrong. As we can see here in X-Men Apocalypse, when Cyclops fires his beams, they leave a fire trail and burned the grass and the tree. But in the comics, Cyclops' blasts don't do that. So when Scott shoots them out and hits people with them, it's like he's punching them with his eyes. Now the reason why Scott wears a visor is because he doesn't have control over the beam. The beams come out constantly. The childhood trauma of Scott being separated from his parents and his brother is what made him not be able to control his abilities. The visor is made out of ruby quartz, which holds the beams back. He also has sunglasses that hold it back so he can wear normal clothes. Scott can open the visor by pressing the side of it to varying degrees with the controls, depending on if he wants to shoot a wide beam or a pinpoint beam. Scott also keeps controls to the visor and buttons on his gloves, so that way he doesn't always have to touch his head to shoot the beams. Another special thing about Scott's uniform is that it can protect him from heat, electricity, and impact to a degree. Now for what his beams can really do. A Cyclops shooting force blasts makes his beams very versatile as he can push things, hold people in midair, just knock people out, or cause massive devastation if he wants to. He's so accurate that he can do ricochets, like here he bounces his beam off a wall and knocks out more beams. He can use his beams to play pool. He was able to play a ball game with Storm. And his beams are so pinpoint accurate that he's able to shoot a very tiny beam and knock off just one bead of a necklace. As for power, Cyclops was able to knock out Blade. Using a powerful wide beam, he was able to create a landing strip through a forest. Scott was able to tear off some of the Hulk's skin, but eventually Hulk powered through and grabbed Scott. Scott was able to defeat a giant monster by cutting it right in half with a powerful blast. Scott was able to launch back Fin Fang Foom with a big blast. And once by removing his visor and letting the entirety of his blasts come out, Scott was able to level a large part of a forest and destroy a sentinel. And as for Scott's maximum blast power, pouring in everything he had, he is able to carve a pathway through a mountain, splitting it straight down the middle, but he passed out afterwards. And here we can see the path that he carved. As for range, Scott was able to shoot a beam from the top of the building into the sky, causing the clouds to turn red, signaling the X-Men to come to his location. Under the tutelage of Professor X, Cyclops was transformed into a master battle tactician and fighter. In the terms of being a tactician, Scott is one of the only people in the Marvel Universe who comes close to Captain America. As we can see here, Scott was able to use his skills to fight off multiple X-Men. In terms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, he's highly skilled. As you can see here, he was able to take down multiple street thugs at once, putting him at the same level as an elite shield agent, making him as good a fighter as people like Maria Hill and Tony Stark. But he's not as good as the greatest of all times, like Shang-Chi and Captain America. All of Scott's leadership abilities, battle strategy, fighting skills, and power are what make him the all-time leader of the X-Men. Due to Cyclops' melancholy, and his usual bad attitude. This leads him to make bad life choices. And he often suffers from self-loathing. And over the years, he's gone from being a pupil of Professor X to becoming his own man. He's kind of changed from his idealistic views of the world to incorporating some of Magneto's views into his beliefs. So although Cyclops doesn't always make the right choices, he always fights to protect his family and all of mutant kind. Personally, I don't really like that Marvel decided to make him kind of align himself more with Magneto than Professor X. 
I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of what the X-Men are and what they represent. I hope that one day Marvel restores Cyclops to what he was. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time.